by the way. Mm. Um, painting is this kind of large scale painting. Is, so it is pretty gratifying to see something big. For this type of thing, I feel like I've done my job if people walk past and smile. Or it, make, it makes light of, of uh, find positivity even in the little things. I, can't stand, I, I don't even take a break usually when I do this type of painting. Marathon painting. I have some snacks and water and stuff. With me. Yes. And I feel fortunate enough that I found a way to do that and make it my job. Even if it wasn't, I would still do this, do this for free. Okay, so I, yeah, I started following Nigel actually a few years ago. I've seen his artwork pop up all over Berkeley and being a public art consultant for the city of Berkeley and always kind of looking at the public spaces. Oh, uh, actually, a guy, I met a guy named Zeph. Who's passing through with a giant backpack, I guess, but he said, oh, please include me off my name on this. Sure. All right. I told him I'd include his name even before I knew that his name was Seth. I put in little funny things. Stupid jokes. No, that's fine. What uh, the today's date? Yeah, or or like the name or something. Today's date, yeah. What's uh? Can I should put a twenty-one. Yes, that is so cool. Let's see how about I know how to do this seven. Normally, for a, bi uh, for a big piece like this that's for the public, I try to keep it as G-rated as possible. Yeah. But I mean, but uh, if he asked for one, I would took, did the biggest one that I could possibly <laughs> try to... I didn't make it super explicit, but it's this big glass bomb, and it happens to be right, almost right across the street from the, the dispensary right yeah. there. 